Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I'll be posting regular videos discussing faith, fashion, trending topics, and just some words of encouragement. I'm your host, Kyle Murphy, and this is Fits and Faith. All right, welcome back to another episode, Fits and Faith. Let's go. Um, I just want to thank everyone for the continued support. Uh, the continued prayers, words of encouragement, uh, positive feedback that I've been getting. Uh, it's just been really encouraging to me. It's been awesome, and I can't tell you how much um, I've been enjoying making these videos, putting them together, uh, been in the Bible, um, researching challenges and applying them to uh, the, fishing, the, the fashion portion, and uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a blessing to me. So thank you so much for your continued support. Um, and I pray that the channel will keep growing and so that, you know, more people will hear the gospel, <clears throat> more people will be, uh, hear those words of encouragement and yeah, we'll, we'll just keep on going, keep on plugging away. I believe this is going to be episode 11. So we're just plugging along. And, um, those of you who are there for the first episode, I just can't thank you enough. And there's plenty more to come, so stay tuned for those. <clears throat> Today, I thought, you know, sometimes people approach me, you know, they see my Instagram, and uh, they'll say, like, you know, who do you, who, who do you kind of style after? Who do you look for? Who do you look to for fashion inspiration? Like, who is your top, uh, you know, five, six people that you, you know, you watch and 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 kind of get fit ideas from so i thought you know why not throw four or five of those guys up there we'll talk about their fits and yeah this is these guys fashion icons in my book um so we'll go through those and we'll chop chop up the fits a little bit and then we'll get to a um devotional here at the end and this verse has really been a blessing to me and it's kind of an interesting take um but yeah we'll just get to it and uh let you be the judge for yourself but it's definitely encouraging and uh, i'm really excited to share this one with you guys so let's get into some fits and we'll chop them up stay tuned all right coming in hot we got the legendary jerry lorenzo founder and designer of the fear of god line I love this comfy fit he's got on, the sweats with the hoodie. Um, here we go, a little bit of, little bit of class, dressy. He's got the Fear of God sweats matched with that um, cropped, sleeved uh, suit coat. It's just kind of casual, but still style. Um, here we got Bieber. I absolutely love Bieber's fashion. Um, he's got the Jordan 1s uh, with the, uh, the camper hat with the short sleeve button down. Here's, had to throw this one in there. This is the Peaches Drip. Absolutely love this fit. This is just fire. Um, and a cool video if you haven't seen it. Next up, um, I actually have a set similar to this, the Drew House. This is so comfy, perfect for this time of year. Uh, the Drew House sweats with the matching hoodie on top. Uh, just a fire, comfy fit. Then we got G. Um, absolutely love G's fashion. Me and him are the same height, same body type. So I just love his style. Got the leather jacket thriller with the skinnies on. Um, here's G again uh, with some plaid pants with the graphic band tee. Just a super simple fit. Um, just I just love this wave he's on. Um, next up, had to throw Kanye on there. Save the best for last. This dude is just a straight up fashion legend. Um, this is like the Life of Pablo era. He's got the Supreme box logo. Um, here, I, I throw fits together like really similar to this. It's got the long fit um, with the jean jacket over it. Just a simple, clean look. Love this look. And then from that Life of Pablo tour, it's got the 750s on with the destroyed denim with that oversized uh, camo jacket over top, rocking the layers. Um, absolutely love that fit. Just straight heat. All right, what I tell you, those were some fits right there, right? I mean, fashion killers. Um, absolutely love those guys. 
there's plenty more a bunch bunch of other people that i follow that you know every day come out fight with the fire fits but those were just some some of the first ones that popped into my mind uh so yeah so yeah, let's get into that devotional so this verse right here really spoke to me and i wanted to share it and i think it'll be an encouragement to you but it comes out of deuteronomy uh, 32 and verse 25 so what it says in that verse is, uh, Thy shoes shall be iron and brass. And then the second part is really what spoke to me. It says, As thy days, so shall thy strength be. As thy days, so shall thy strength be. <clears throat> and you know, I'm sure there's a lot of different interpretations that you can get out of that. Uh, different ways you can read it and apply it. Uh, but really, what really jumped out at me was, as thy days, so shall thy strength be. So what I read that as is like, don't worry about, you know, so many times we stress about a month from now, a year from now, you know, six months from now, next week. God will give you the strength for that day when it comes. But it says, as thy day, so shall thy strength be. Worry about today. God has given you the strength for today. Don't worry about the strength that you're going to need in six months. The strength that you're going to need. You got some, you know, a big surgery scheduled six months from now. You got, you know, something really big that's stressing you out in the future that you're worried about god will give you strength for that day and that day he'll probably give you more strength than he gave you today i i like to think of it as like a doctor filling a prescription god will fill your strength prescription for the amount of strength you'll need on that day that you're worried about but today He's got you covered. As thy days, so shall thy strength be. And those of you who know me personally, like really personally, you know, sometimes, and it's like everyone, you know, he's, he's, and it's always like the smallest things I worry about. And it's, it's, everyone does it. It's, it's so hard. You know, there are a lot of worriers out there. And, Another verse that jumps out is 1 Peter 5, 7. Cast all thy cares upon him, for he careth for you. He doesn't want us to stress. He doesn't want us to worry about the future because he'll give us strength when that day comes. As thy day, so shall thy strength be. Worry about today. Whatever you're facing today, God will give you the amount of strength that you're going to need. To face today you pray for it pray for it give me strength for today Lord give me strength give me strength give me strength I remember when I was recovering I would pray every every night Lord please give me strength you know if I had like a intense physical therapy the next day I had physical therapy occupational therapy I'm like Lord I am gonna need a higher dose of strength for tomorrow. Please give me that strength. And the day after that, I I probably didn't need as much strength as I needed the day before. But guess what? God, as thy days, he'll give you that strength. Pray for him. Call out to him. He's right there. He's He, he wants you to. The Lord wants us to lean on him. So many people, including myself, we get so stressed and so worried about stuff, we forget to pray. That's like forgetting the most important thing. That's, that is the most important thing you can do. Of course, of course you need to be prepared. Um, all the preparations and whatever aspect. Make, you know, do your part. But you can't forget the most important thing. Prayer, prayer, prayer. I am a product of prayer. I'm standing before you today because of prayer. 
because of the prayer from a mother, because of the prayer of a father, because of the prayer of grandma, grandpa, praying, praying, praying. So if you got something big coming up, you're stressed, your back's up against the wall, you're on the ropes, so to speak, boxing, all hope is lost, you can't even think, life is just beating down on you. Trust me, I've been there. Call out to God. He will give you the strength to face that day. Deuteronomy 33, 25. Pray that was a blessing to you. I was really excited to share that. Um, that that just that verse really spoke to me, and I knew that there's someone out there that needed to hear that. So thank you so much for tuning in. If that was a blessing, be sure to share it. Um, I post on YouTube, of course, and, and I post these videos on my Facebook. Um, you have my permission, share it, send it to people. Um, we all just need to pray for each other right now. Pray for each other. Pray for the nation of Israel. Pray for even if you don't agree with the leadership that we have in, in this country right now. You've got to pray for them. The Bible says to pray. So pray for one another. Have each other's backs. Be kind. And we'll see you on the next episode. Peace.